Because last time you were here, I took you guys to Hobbiton. Yeah. And you loved it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In all seriousness, you went to Hobbiton and I, you, you, you loved it. You're not really a LOTR guy. I don't really like publicize that. I've, just... I've never seen it either. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well then, all right. We're... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's banged the shit out of it. <laughs> Bang into the shit out of it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Uh, talking yeah, about. Yeah. 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 I feel like we're missing out here. <laughs> Rivendell? What is that? It's it's pretty far outside Hobbiton. <laughs> but it's it's one of the most beautiful places in Middle Earth and I'd love to I'd love to go sometime. I love great movies. I'm into you know, fantasy movies. I love, you know stuff that can take you somewhere else and you can kinda of disappear in yeah. that. Um, yeah. I think that even just our schedule day to day, it's nice to dive into something that like is not really this world. And I think everyone can kind of relate to that, wanting to disappear into something. And yeah, it's more fun to play pretend. Yeah. Right? So some of my favorite books, I do. I I read Lord of the Rings. I was kind of like I really enjoyed that, and I watched the movies more. So now I kind of can't think of the movie without reading the book. So I don't know if it even counts as a literary character at this point. But is that all right? Um, if I were to pick, I mean, Legolas is like my favorite. Those are our, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, Legolas. Yeah, you strike me as a Legolas girl. Yeah, we have Most a connection. Most of the songs are about Legolas. You don't even know who Legolas is. <laughs> he's, he's the guy on the horse. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> but everyone is on the horse at some point in that. No, uh. Unless you're a hobbit. What's the guy, what's the guy's name? Uh, Orlando Long Bloom. Hair, uh, Orlando Bloom. Yeah. I know who he is. He's in, he's in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Josh is Josh has yet to sit through. Wait, you watched the first one, right? It's the second one, Two Towers. It was a running joke. You fell asleep in the middle of Two Towers every single time. Yeah. It's I've really gotten through the battle. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. He I, doesn't I... know. He didn't even know there was a battle. <laughs> the whole movie now, if there's a battle. <laughs> I'll wake you up next time the battle starts. <laughs> I'll take a five hour energy drink. <laughs> And, uh, so I've, I've written a ton of little tiny weird ditties that I sing to her that, that then I realized, oh, let me grab my phone and, and, and record a voice memo real quick because that might actually be something. Um, but a lot of it's nonsense. But there was a time where she was staying up all hours of the night and I tried to give my, my wife a, a break. And so um, my daughter and I would watch Lord of the Rings together. And so I, I, uh, I replaced the, the lyrics to a well-known song. It would say... Um, Rosie, baby, she's my girl MacGyver. Out of all the people, she's in my top fiver. Right behind Gimli, Legolas, and Strider. Rosie, baby, your mommy's number one. Aww. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, and she just would stare at me like, you're an idiot. This is happening. We're actually going to be playing shows. I could not help but think of one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite movies. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Galadriel says, this quest stands upon the edge of a knife. The quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little, and it will fail. Guys, like, what was that one movie theater experience, even as a kid? Like, was it going to see Star Wars when you were little, where you were like, wow, this is just whole new, like, you know, like next level stuff to be in a movie theater, and it was all cool. And what was like one of those really cool moments for you when you were little Tyler and little Josh back in the day? I, I will say that Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship of the Ring, I think I saw three or four times in theater. I saw it once, not really knowing much about the series. Uh, and then it was like, what? And I, I brought my brother. Next time I brought like some other friends, like you gotta watch. And, then, and so then by the end of it, I remember when, uh, when, 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 when he chops his head off at the end, I was ready to stand up and like cheer because I like saw it coming. And I remember in the theater, like I just cheered that an orc got its head cut off. I'm like, this is like the nerdiest thing I've ever done, uh, but I loved it. Those are the best movies where people are interacting.